Hey guys, it's Reagan, and I have a super duper 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 exciting video to film because in honor of Morgan Matson's release of Since You've Been Gone, tomorrow and the BFF challenge that has been running along leading up to this release, I'm going to be doing a themed video based off of this book as well as a really really awesome giveaway. Yes! So, um, just to give you a brief synopsis of this book, this, this, this book follows a girl named Emily, and Emily is best friends with Salone. And for as long as Emily can remember, Salone has been the one who's made her do exciting and adventurous things. And they're about to head into their summer, and they have all sorts of exciting things planned, and it's going to be the greatest summer of their lives. But then, all of a sudden, Salone disappears, and the only thing that has been left behind is this list, a list that Salone has left for Emily to accomplish through the summer. So Emily, being thinking that accomplishing this list will bring her back to Salone, starts doing the things on the, uh, starts doing things that she pretty much never saw herself doing before. And this list has activities ranging from riding a horse and skinny dipping. So it's definitely pretty freaking awesome. This story is so much fun. It's all about friendship and summer, and it's just all around just fun and has made me want to have a really exciting summer. So inspired by this book, I decided to make a summer book bucket list uh, inspired by various things I have read in books over the years that made me want to go, yes, I want to do that one day. So I'm going to tell you my five things I really want to do based off of books. The first thing I really want to do is inspired off of this story and it is to go to an apple orchard or pick apples at night or pick some sort of fruit at night. I don't know, for some reason that just sounded so exciting. And this book, she, her Salone tells her that she has to go to an apple orchard at night and pick an apple. And for it just sounds like, it sounds so easy, but yet at the same time so adventurous and fun and only something you could do during the summertime. I just really want to do that one day. I think it would be a lot of fun and very, very tasty. Uh, and the number two thing on my book bucket list is inspired by the Summer I Turned Pretty series, and that is to go to a beach town and spend a relatively long amount of time there, either spend the summer there like lifeguarding or working just like randomly in a beach town or like spending a month there just living. And I just think that would be so much fun because I don't know, there's something about a beach town that's just different. It's like relaxed and these and people are just coming in from all over just congregating but no one's really there for forever. I don't know, I just think it'd be a really really fun time to spend a long amount of time living at a beach town. Number three on my list is something I hope to accomplish very, very soon. Hopefully this summer, I know for sure next summer, and that is to go on a road trip. And this is inspired by Amy and Roger's epic detour, just a whole bunch of really fun contemporaries where the characters are going on fun road trips across country. I really, 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 really want to do this. I think it would be so much fun. Specifically, I really want to go to Disney World with a couple of my friends for a week and just drive there and just I, I just, I think there's something bonding about a road trip that I have yet to experience and before I graduate college, I'm going on one. I deem it so. And the fourth thing on my list is go to the middle of nowhere and look up at the stars. And this was inspired by Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe. This should be relatively easy for me as, I mean I live in Texas, but I live in like a city area, but the country isn't that hard to get to. It's maybe like a 20 minute drive. I think it'd be really fun to go out and just like stare up at the stars in the trunk of a car and just make a bonfire and eat some s'mores. I think it'd be lots of fun. And the last thing I really want to do is probably the hardest to accomplish, but something I hope to do one day over the summer, and that is to visit Point de Zero in Paris, and this is of course expired inspired by Anna and the French Kiss. I just, there's something magical about the city of Paris that I have yet to experience for myself and I really just want to go and do that. So yes, so that is my book bucket list inspired by various books that I have read that I hope to accomplish in the summers to come. Now time for the giveaway that has been lovely hosted through Simon & Schuster. So like I said, leading up to the release of this book, Simon & Schuster and Morgan Matson have teamed up to create the BFF challenge and I will leave their website down below so make sure to go check that out and essentially it's just, they're just hosting a bunch of super awesome giveaways and this giveaway is pretty dang awesome. So first off there's going to be one winner and the winner can win um, first a copy of all of Morgan Madsen's published books. So a copy of Since You've Been Gone, a copy of Second Chance Summer, and a copy of Amy and Ryder's Epic Detour which is amazing 
and they also get to win, which I just think is so cool. They also get to win one Fujifilm Instax mini camera, which is just so cool and perfect for summer. You can just take pictures and just do this and then have a memory. So you're probably wondering, what do I gotta do to win this giveaway? Well, it's very, very, very simple. First, all you have to do is comment. All you have to do down below is comment telling me something you really want to do this summer, something that's on your bucket list, as well as be subscribed to me, like this video, this video. Some additional rules are, um, this is unfortunately only US residents only, but please do not be mad at me. I am gonna have an international giveaway coming up very, very, very soon, and it's amazing. So. Be still, be hold out for that, as well as uh, you must have, be over the age of 18 or have your parents' permission. Um, this, uh, this giveaway will be up for one week, so starting today, and it'll be ending next Monday. And as always, be aware of scammers. I will be announcing the winner in a video a week from today, so if you are getting any sort of messages from anyone claiming that you've won, won my giveaway, just check to see if I have a video published before you click any links. Okie dokie. Alrighty guys, I hope you're excited about this. I'm super excited about this. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye!